And back here at 1030, curbing dangerous drivers. Bakersfield Police getting some help improving street safety for pedestrians and bicyclists. The department was given a $500,000 grant for traffic enforcement and road safety. Yeah, their first step, cracking down on dangerous drivers. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Peronian explains in detail. Accidents have been an ongoing issue in Bakersfield as we see multiple happening each week. Take a look, last year this intersection on 24th and Oak Street was number one in crashes that caused the most injuries. But BPD says because of strong enforcement, it no longer is. The purpose of the $500,000 grant is to change that from happening. Joseph Galland is the traffic commander and lieutenant for Bakersfield Police, and he said this will help strengthen their commitment to public safety. The grant given by the Office of Traffic Safety will help strengthen the police motorcycle program and focus more on arresting DUI drivers. We received uh, two more uh, motorcycles. Uh, funds to purchase two more motorcycles from uh, Office of Traffic Safety, uh, which is allowing us to continue to grow the motor fleet. We're, we're have, uh, we have motor school next week, um, and we could put as many as six more officers on motorcycles this year. The grant will provide proactive patrols to focus on top violations that cause speeding, failure to yield, stop sign or red light running, and improper turning or lane changes. This stack, shown by Lieutenant Galland, is the number of intersection crashes that happened in the last 18 months. I went through a stack of um, collision data, and the reality is it happens everywhere in the city. This year, Truxton Avenue and Oak Street are ranked the number one in most accidents, with a total of 15 so far. Attorney Matt Clark from Chaincone Clark believes there aren't enough police officers on the street to enforce the traffic rules. I mean, it's been illegal to drive drunk for a very long time. You know, it's been illegal to drive with a cell phone up to your ear or in your hand while you're responding to a text message or... God forbid a Facebook post or something like that. What we need is we need enforcement of those laws. And as I understand it, this grant provides extra resources to the Bakersfield Police Department so that they can put more people on the street to enforce the laws that are already in place. The grant program will run through until September 2024. And for more additional information, you can visit our website, bakersfieldnow.com. Reporting from Bakersfield, Mary Pronian, Eyewitness News.